Last but certainly not least, we've got the Verbo Fiesta Bowl. New Year's Day, it's your appetizer. New Year's Day morning, if you're sleeping in a little bit, don't sleep in too late. This one starts at noon central, uh, I believe 10 a.m. local time out there in Arizona, yeah. so that'll be interesting. But Liberty undefeated 13-0, and facing off against 11-2 and Oregon, whose two losses, of course, both came to undefeated Washington, who's in the Sugar Bowl. This is Bo Nix's final collegiate game. He is playing in this one, which is awesome to see in an era of opt-outs. Again, no shame to anyone that does choose to opt out and make that business decision, but Bo Nix choosing to play, just awesome to see. And what a career it has been for Nix. He sh he'll go over 15,000 career uh, passing yards in this game, assuming he stays healthy. And has the chance to go over 150 total touchdowns as well as he's sitting at 146. Liberty, on the other side, seeking to become the second undefeated G5 team in the college football playoff era. Of course, our 2017 national champion UCF Golden Knights are the other. And G5 teams are asterisk. four and six. At, well, no, no, they're undefeated, Garrett. I don't know I'm why you are putting an asterisk on it. I don't like it. <laughs> The G5 teams, uh, what you can't put an asterisk on, are four and six straight up in the New Year's Six games in the college football playoff era. So they've been competitive in a lot of these matchups. The spread 16 and a half points in favor of Oregon as it stands right now. What are you guys thinking about this one? Spread feels high to me. Uh, I, I think Liberty has some starters on defense that have uh, that have opted out either for the draft or have transferred. So I think that certainly hurts, but uh, Oregon also has their fair share of guys that are missing in this one. So I think this is a close competitive game. I think you look up and late in the third, early in the fourth, and you go, oh, Liberty's only down by three, uh, something like that. I, I do think Oregon wins. I think the talent advantage is uh, is certainly worth noting, um, and Oregon is one of those programs that I think is headed to, um, is going to be on jet fuel here in the next couple of years, but um, I think Liberty keeps this close. So I'll take Oregon to win, Liberty to cover. Maybe they lose by 10. I do not think Liberty will keep this close. I think that this is the Bo Nix moment. I think we're going to get to say, you know, good night, sweet prince to his career in college. And and honestly, Bo Nix has won a fan over here. I, I <laughs> pretty vocal critic, you know, a couple of years ago. And obviously yeah. I think most people were. He's no good. He's kind of a gunslinger and he's got some moments and he had that little runaround thing at Auburn where he kind of just kept the play alive, kind of looked like Johnny Manziel. Okay. Oh yeah. Fun. And then, you know, career kind of flamed out. He was done. He was, I mean, his career was over and then, you know, Lanning went up there and took a chance on him at Oregon. And that is probably Dan Lanning's best decision to date uh, is to take a chance on Bo Nix because Bo Nix is absolutely pulled that program up out of the, the deep end and has put them back on the stage as they're entering the Big Ten. Um, I, I think, obviously, he's going to hit the 15,000 for the career mark. I think he hits the 150. It's just, you know, four total touchdowns in this game. I think he has more than that. I think he's going to put on one of the uh, all-time bowl performances in this one. I just don't think Liberty stacks up. They're a good team. Um, I just don't think they stack up with the team who was, you know, couple of plays, you know, and, and at the end of the game against Washington, just a few plays away uh, from being in the playoff, or at least, you know, really making a push to be in the playoff. Who knows what the committee would have done. But, uh, I, look, this is a very good Oregon team um, who probably should be in that conversation. And, you know, this end of the season, they get to kind of do a little, little feel-good party, wrap it up on a high note, and take Oregon to win a big game by a big margin. I'm right there with you, Garrett. I don't think this one's going to be particularly close. It will be, I think it could be an entertaining first half, but Oregon will pull away in the second half with Bo Nix setting some records along the way. I'll take the Ducks to win and cover again, probably one of my highest confidence points of the year, probably around 38 to 40 on this one. Gracious, yeah.